Okay, this is just a quick recap of what you hopefully learned from the parabola lab. When you see parabola equations, the first number that you see in front of the squared part is your stretch factor. The stretch factor tells you two things. It tells you the direction in which the graph opens. So when it's positive, it opens up, and it's, when it's negative, it opens down. It can also tell you the size of the opening. So when it's really skinny like this, or stretched, the number is going to be larger than 1 for this spot right here. If the number is less than 1, but also greater than 0, some kind of fraction or decimal between those numbers, the graph is going to be compressed and look really wide. Now, in some cases, you may not see parentheses that are squared. If it's just a plain old x squared, the graph won't shift. But when you do see in parentheses with the x part here and a number inside here, the graph is going to shift horizontally. And when you see x minus the number inside the parentheses, the graph goes to the right. And when it says x plus the number, the graph goes to the left. So you want to be thinking opposite the h value when you see it inside the parentheses here when you're shifting horizontal. The k is the vertical shift, and that also tells you, uh, and you're going to always keep that value the way you see it. So if it says plus 5, the graph will kick up 5 units. Or if it's minus 5 right here, the graph will kick down 5. And again, if you don't see a number here, just plain old something squared with no number at the end of it, the graph will not go up or down. But this is, in general, is the vertical shift. And that's basically it. Hopefully you pick those things up from the lab, and good luck in the future questions.